beautiful Camp Montgomery, the lovely setting for our intermediate camp in August 1963. The Hogan Baptist Church and Spring Park Baptist Church joined in one of the most memorable and successful events of the entire church year. Those who didn't hear Danny Graham's bugle call, they have to be awakened with the bell. The day begins, and there's chow to eat in the chow hall. What else would there be to eat in the chow hall? And what an assorted collection of fashions can be seen at camp. This sophisticated younger set sets the pace for the more mature sophisticated younger set, otherwise known as the counselors. This is Mrs. Scott, our camp nurse. Mrs. Scott took care of all of our cuts and bruises, insect bites, rashes, stump toes, whatever you have. Reverend Robert Yates, one of the camp pastors. And then there's Herman Eibach, the camp director, the judge, jury, sheriff, and executioner. And Vernon Graham. And Mrs. Branch and Mrs. Graham, and Jean Austin, all teachers extraordinary. Inside the dining hall, food is being dropped into yawning chasms. It's 7 a.m., you know, and everybody belong to the Clean Plate Club. Camp Montgomery is designed for fun and outdoor living, canoes to paddle in, and bells to ring on. Camp Montgomery is a lovely place with spacious cabins, sleep easy mattresses, downy pillows, piping hot showers, room service, lounging chairs, color television with built in stereo in every room, Coke machines at every cabin door. These and many other things were nowhere in sight. girls cabin area, off limits to the boys. The chapel where all of our main meetings were held. Ah, 
but there were other things. The lake, the lake, the lake, beautiful, luxurious, and clear, where the children can play and splash. Beautiful trees blowing in the breeze, soft, cool breezes blowing in the trees. Young laddies playing on the end of the dock. These three young men are really supposed to be in school today, but the call of the lake and the outdoors compel them to manage to get excused from school so they could try out the water for wet, which it was. That's Gary Mincy. This is Charles Miles, Fancy Diver. And Dwight Pritchard, who loves to dive from way up high. Three coins in a fountain. One, two, three. Excuse us just a moment while we uh, water ski and show off. Hey, isn't that nice? Just a minute, I'll do it again. Now just watch this, careful, careful, quiet. Look, 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 no hands. Yo! <laughs> uh, please now, and we'll uh, try to do it just one more time. This time I believe that I can do it. Here we go, look, here I come, here I come, look, no hands, and I've got it, oh. Now how's that for form? Take me out to the ball game. Charlie's on the mound, and here's the pitch. There's Gary at the bat, anxious to get a whack at the old potato. It's a hit. Way out in center field. Way, way, way out. Dwight's on the move underneath to make the kill, and he got it, and Mincy is out. Why, the crowd is going wild, and it's a wild, wild crowd. But camp was not all play. There was the class time when we studied in our groups. Groups like these were with their counselors several times each day, studying and discussing topics that the young people are interested in. Problems like cheating, gambling, movies. What do you do on a Sunday? The problem of smoking, drinking, dancing, petting, popularity, how to have victory over temptations, and religion 
why it's so important to know Christ as your Savior. And then, how shall I invest my life? We had special Bible studies and classes in soul winning, and in the evening each cabin put on a skit. Then we had feature movies on missions, teenage witnessing, and even an authentic full-color movie on, uh, a lung cancer operation. It was the most. But back to the lake and to the tippy canoes. We didn't plan to paddle up into the weeds. It just went this way. But who needs a canoe anyway? Not when you can get a good inner tube with boys on it. And the lifeguard, the lifeguard, Courtney the lifeguard. Oh, he was so mean, nobody would even get near him. Funny thing about swimming, something happens to your hair. Now those boys could get on this thing. But there were those peaceful moments, too, when you could just relax and read a good book. Or just walk around and eat grass and bugs and things. Meanwhile, back at the lake, there are other things that we hadn't thought of to do before like uh, diving head first or uh, backwards that's Gary Mincy again or doing our best dive hey wait for me hey wow we or jumping off the tippy top like Dwight. Kurt Chung. Or what's fun is all jumping in at once and in the same place. That's Courtney. He's our lifeguard. Now here's a new dive. Watch close and fast. Did you see it? Here it is again. This is Cheryl or Beverly. Hey, get me out of here. All right, everybody on the float for just one more dive. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, go. High point of the camp 
was the Friday night campfire when each camper gave a